English Simmer here and welcome back to Stardew Valley Part 3. So in the last part we were kind of just getting started. I think I played a day off screen but I can't really remember. I think I did though. Um, and I've also just planted some more parsnips so we're gonna quickly... Um, we're gonna actually see if these ones are ready. I think they might be, but I'm not too sure. Um, maybe they aren't. One of them was definitely ready. We took some. Um, Cause we have this one right here, but I don't think these little dudes are ready. So uh, maybe we won't grab these ones. So we're just gonna leave those guys in there. Um, but we are going to water all of them. I have planted some more just because we could. So I did. Um, let's water all of these guys. And we've got some new quests in our journal. Which we will probably have a little gander at. And see what's a crack -a in with those. Um, I'm going to double check that we can't take any of these. I don't think we can. Nope. I'm like clicking everything, um, both buttons, but it isn't working, so I'm guessing that we can't take those. But we also have some mail too. To our valued Jojo Market customers, our team members have removed the landslide caused by our drilling operation near the mountain lake. I'd like to remind you that our drilling operation is entirely legal. Um, responsible stewardship of the local environment is our top priority. We apologize for any inconvenience this accident may have caused. As always, we valued your continued support and patronage. Patronage, 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 I think. Morris, Jojo customer satisfaction representative. So I think there was a landslide near the mining place, but we have finished getting started. So we earned a hundred gold for um, watering and uh, then use a seed packet to be tilled on the soil to sow a crop. Water every day until the crop is ready to harvest. So we got one parsnip, which is good. What else do we have? Raising animals. Robin, the local carpenter, lives north of the town. In exchange for raw materials and money, she'll construct new buildings on your farm. You'll need her to build a coop or a barn so that you can raise animals. <gasps> we can start having chickens. We're going to try and get a coop in this part. I don't know if it'll work or not. As you gain experience, you'll discover new crafting recipes to increase profit and make life easier. A scarecrow, for example, will prevent crows from snacking on your precious crops. Reach farming level one and craft a scarecrow. So I'm guessing to reach farming level one, you just need to... um keep like planting things and stuff we're gonna open this and i think we can put these in here so that we can sell them uh that's what that guy said and also i cleared up our farm a little bit and we found a geode so a blacksmith can break this open for you so i think we're gonna go over to the blacksmiths first off and uh see if we can um oh and also loads of you were saying these um, flowers right here we can take them and they can be used as um, like gifts to villagers which I thought was really cool so we might do that so I think we'll just grab those as we go I actually haven't read up on um, which gifts villagers like because I kind of don't want to know I feel like that's a little bit of cheating oh hi there I forgot everyone's name again oh hi there Lewis okay you're right there, Lou. What are you looking at? What's going on? What an eyesore. It is a bit of an eyesore, not gonna lie. This is the Pelican Town Community Center, or what's left of it anyway. Yeah, it doesn't, doesn't look that great. It used to be the pride and joy of the town, always bustling with activity. Now, just look at it. It's shameful. These days, the young folk would rather sit in front of the TV than engage with the community. Oh, I forgot to check, to check our TV. Loads of you guys were saying to check that daily. I forgot. But listen to me. I sound like an old fool. 
No, you sound like you're proud of your community. Joja Corporation has been hounding me to sell them the land so they can turn it into a warehouse. Pelican Town could use the money, but there's something stopping me from selling it. I guess old timers like me get attached to the relics of the past. Ah well, if anyone else buys a Joja Co membership, I'm just going to go ahead and sell it. Sigh. Here, let's go inside. I don't want to go inside. It looks like an abandoned old haunted building. Why are you taking me inside? This, don't trust Lewis. <laughs> an old man who wants to take you inside a shady building. Never do that. Hmm, what's this? I guess Vincent and Jazz must have been playing in here. This place is even more dilapidated than I remember. <gasps> what is that? It's so cute! What? What was that? What was it? I want it. Whatever it was. What's the matter? Are you ill? I don't like this music. I don't even know if you guys can hear this. You saw something. Hmm. I wouldn't be surprised if this place was full of rats. That defo isn't a rat. What the hell is it? It's like a little ghost. He's not very happy, is he? You're worrying me, Molly. I'm not imagining it, I swear. Look, I think I'm going to head home. I need some lunch. I'm going to talk to this little fella, whatever it is. Hey, I'll keep this place unlocked from now on. Maybe you can help catch that rat if you have some extra time. It's not a rat. It's a little green dude. Strange. I'll have to come back and explore this building further. So we aren't going to do that in this part. We'll uh, leave that for a little bit, but... um. We need to go to the blacksmiths. Oh, we found another daffodil. So yeah, as I was saying, I haven't read up on which villagers like what. And also loads of you guys helped me out in saying that these are the gifts that we have offered to people. So you can offer people gifts and they have their favorites, they have their dislikes, and then they have like a neutral. If you give them gifts that they like, it will raise your relationship, which we will start doing, but um, we're just gonna like get to know everyone a little bit first. Hey, it's farm girl. Did you get new pants? You're doing something right. Alex is so hitting on us. Oh, I almost forgot. It's my day for doing push-ups. <laughs> Every time I do push-ups, I try to do one more than last time. Pretty cool strategy, huh? He's such a noob, I swear. Uh, let's check if anyone's inside. Oh, I, okay, yeah, she does live here. Each day is just the same as the last. If only I'd been born rich. Same girl. I'm on the same level as Pam or whatever she's called. I didn't actually read her name. Whoops. Whoops. Um, where's the blacksmith's map? Okay, we need to go across. Why is this rat problem? There's something odd going in in the community center. Investigate the community center. I will definitely do that at some point. We will definitely do that in this let's play. I'm really excited for this let's play. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. I'm already loving this game. Um, process geodes. So we have this one. Uh, do we put this here? Just place your geodes on my anvil and I'll give them a whack. Uh, what do we get out of that? Uh, granite. Gunther can tell you more about this if you donate it to the museum. And we got some coal. A combustible rock that is useful for crafting and smelting. Awesome. Uh, upgrade tools. Let's see if we can upgrade any tools. Uh, we can get a copper axe, a copper watering can. What does this do? Used water crops can be refilled at any water source. So we need copper to do all of this. Used to break 2,000 stones. Used to dig and till the soil. So we probably will start needing copper items um, when we start going to the mines and stuff like that. Which I'm thinking of actually uh, checking out soon. Because we haven't been to the mines just yet. Err... Uh, we might try and do the mines today, see if we can uh, go to them. So where are they? Uh, I think they're like up here. 
And hopefully this is now unblocked because it was blocked by something. I don't know whether I discovered that in the last part or whether I discovered it off screen, probably off screen. Um, what I want to do is see if um, Mr. Elliot is over here because I quite like Elliot, not gonna lie. He is. Hey dude. Let's talk to him. The fresh air of this valley is good for the body and mind. A quick stroll outdoors always invigorates me. Um, should we try and give him a daffodil? Hmm, I'm not a few who huge fan of this. Oh great. Uh we could try giving him a clam of some sort. I don't know whether he'll like those. Apparently if we hoe these worms, they might give us something. We got a dried starfish. You found an artifact. The curator of the local museum might want to know about this. Okay, cool. You found an ancient looking object. Could it be some kind of artifact from long ago? Perhaps Gunther, curator of the local museum, has the answer. Visit Gunther at the museum. So those worms, one of you guys actually um, gave me that little bit of advice. You guys are really helpful when it comes to new Let's Plays. Because if you guys have played the game, then you kind of suggest like fun little things I can do. And I really do appreciate them. So thank you to the person who um, did that. You know what? We're going to go visit visit Gunther. Where is the museum? Um, okay, guys. So I was just being silly. The museum is the same place as the library. So it's like right next to where we just came from, which was a little bit silly of me. But we're going to head over there now. Um, so I think if we just keep going, this is the museum and library. Um, so let's take a look in and I think this is Gunther. Um, abysmal. This is Gunther. Not a single piece in the entire collection. Oh, we're going to help build this collection back up, Gunther. Oh, we surprised him. What's this? You found something? Let me see it. What is it? Remarkable. It's very old. I'd love to study this in greater detail, but it is yours. Oh, you can have it, dude. Hmm. I've got a favour to ask you. Would you consider donating any new artifacts or minerals that you find? We can ma make a brown groundbreaking discovery. I cannot speak. Oh, and who knows? If you keep donating, I might come across some interesting items to send your way. I can donate right now. Think about it, will you? If you decide to donate, just bring the objects to the front desk. Okay, we'll do that. I love the little music. I don't know if you guys can hear the music or not. I did turn it down a little bit. Uh, donate to the museum. We are going to donate that starfish. And we're going to donate that as well. There we go. We donated. It doesn't seem like you have anything to donate to the museum. Better get out there and do some treasure hunting, huh? Right, let's go introduce ourselves to... Uh, I don't think we've introduced ourselves to her, so let's do that. Hi, this is Jazz. Is that all you're going to say to us? Okay. Um, we've met 27 of 28 people, so that's good. Gunther asked if you considered donating any new artifacts or... Mu uh, so we got 250 for that which is awesome so that must have counted as like a rare one i'm not too sure let's talk to this little dude again miss penny says i have to read this book before i can go play <laughs> miss penny oh okay sorry vincent uh if you dig the dirt in the dirt you can find some interesting things one time i found a really old piece of pottery i brought it to gunther and he said it was over a thousand years old oh cute I think we spoke to this woman before. It's a fine looking day. On days like this, I like to help Evelyn with the public gardens. She's strong for her age, but I think she appreciates all the help she can get. Maybe we should help Evelyn more. Go on, Vincent. Hurry up, kiddo. Lego. Um, let's try and go over to the mines. Let's do it. Let's see if we can get up this way. I don't know if we can, but we can try. Uh, 
Here we go. Nope. Okay. Well, not that way then. Let's continue on down the beach. A nice coastal walk, you know, as you do. Let's climb up here. I think the mines are over this way, but I'm not too sure. Hopefully we can find them. And then like over here. Maybe. Maybe. Oh, we need to fill up our watering can. I just want to do that. Oh, I thought this was a water source. Okay, maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe it wasn't. But yes, the rock slide has gone. So these are the mines right here. Let's go in. <gasps> There's a pirate. Hello there. Hmm. Hi, Marlon. Let's go speak to Marlon. I was just peering down into this old mine shaft. It's been abandoned for decades. Still, there's probably good ore down there, but a dark place, undis undisturbed for so long. I'm afraid ore isn't the only thing you'll find. Oh no, that's creepy. Here, take this. You might need it. We got a sword. Oh no. A rusty sword. Even better. Name's Marlon, by the way. I run the Adventurer's Guild right outside. I'll keep my eye on you. Prove yourself and I might think about making you a member. <gasps> we can join a guild? No way. Okay. I don't really want to go down if I'm completely honest. Um, I feel as if we should switch this. Um, I'm guessing we can just... Okay, I'm going to put this like right here. I'm gonna move everything up one, just in case. Oh, okay. So we got stone. So I'm guessing you kind of just like mine everything. And then you get like things. You get like stone or coal, copper. We got one copper ore, so that's good. We do need to start collecting copper so we can start upgrading our weapons. And I'm guessing the lower you go, then kind of like the more valuable things become. That's what I'm guessing anyway. I don't really know, to be honest. But that's what I'm hoping for. We really need a backpack. We should go see if the store have any um, on offer. Because they did, but we kind of missed that. <laughs> um, we kind of missed the day that that was delivered so we probably do need a backpack explore the mine there's an old mine shaft down uh in the mountains north of the tower there could be some valuable minerals inside but marlon hinted that it might be dangerous reach level five in the mines oh get away from me get away 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 go away how do we kill it Oh my goodness, he was going crazy. Let's get this one. Oh no, he took some of our health. Get away from me. Get away, get away, get away, get away. Away, away green beast, foul. Get away, get away. Oh, he's taking up our energy. <gasps> got him, we got him. But our inventory's full. We really need a backpack. But the store will be shut. Hmm. Maybe we should go get a backpack tomorrow. Ooh. Okay, I'm not going to pick that up just yet. Because obviously it is full. We do need a backpack. Or I need to put some of our stuff away in our chest at home. Grab that one. So this is cool. We do have mines. This is this is a cool discovery. Doing our first little bit of proper mining instead of just like tidying up our land, which is always a fun time. Oh wow, this is a big mine. Like super big. I'm guessing these ones with like crystals in are gonna give us some other resources. Um, so I kind of don't want to do that because I'm scared that they'll disappear so i'd rather keep them there oh no there's like bats and everything 
I kind of don't want to go deeper because our energy is pretty low. Um, it's on like 87, so I'm thinking we're going to go up. Uh, we're going to leave the mine. So we're going to go up and um, yeah, we're going to head back home, I think. So I might skip this part. Actually, guys, I'm just playing with you. We're not going to skip this part, but we will go to the saloon because it's like 9 p.m. Oh, man, I came the wrong way. Um, but yeah, we're gonna head on over to the saloon and uh, I kind of want to like meet some people um, There it's getting late though. So I'm kind of hoping not everyone's Disappeared by the time we get there. Hopefully not. Hopefully there'll still be a raging pie going on It is a Friday. So Everyone should be letting their hair down a bit, you know, like the doctor and stuff, because it's the weekend. It's time to party, even though doctors don't really get many days off, do they? I'm guessing they don't get... Oh, these two are heading back. Let's have a chat. Robin has a hot temper. It's better to stay on her good side. Don't tell her I said that. <laughs> we know who wears the pants in that relationship. Definitely Robin. Have you met everyone in town yet? That sounds exhausting. It is exhausting, Robin. Let me tell you that. We also need to talk to her and get um, a coop. Uh, I don't really know you. Whatever, Sebastian. You're gonna know us. Um, okay, let's go to the saloon. Let's see who's in here still. Okay, busy night at the saloon. This is what I like to see. Handling salty fish all day makes me real thirsty. The weather doesn't really matter to me. I typically stay near my shop year round. Depressing, huh? That, that's kind of depressing, yeah, not gonna lie. I've been working hard all week. I deserve a little relaxation on a Friday night. Good for you, Doc. Oh no, that's not the doctor, is it? That's Pierre. He owns the supermarket. I got confused. Don't you have work to do? Shane, it's like 10 p.m. at night. Get over yourself. He thinks he's so gorgeous. Marnie doesn't seem to notice that you're there. Marnie's only got heart eyes for Lewis. Good evening, Molly. I'm glad to see you relaxing at the saloon. It's good for you to take a break now and then. Your grandfather always worked himself too hard. I'll have an extra beer in his honor tonight. <laughs> nice. Ah, just finding excuses to drink more. My kind of man. It's simpler to be friends with the trees. They don't have much to say. <gasps> Poor Leah. I'll be your friend, Leah. Oi, Gus, give me another pint of your strongest. Okay, uh, can we offer a daffodil to her? I don't know if she'll like it. This is a really nice gift. Thank you. See, we're making friends, guys. We're making friends with Leah. Ah, spring, the season of pastels. I actually prefer jewel tones myself. Oh, excuse me. I was mumbling about fashion again, wasn't I? Bless her. Let's have a chat with Gus. Business has been really good tonight. I'm pleased. It uh, looks like everyone's heading out. Um, so I reckon I'm probably just going to end this part here because it's like 11 p.m. And this part's been kind of longish. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed this part. We are definitely exploring a little bit more and getting into it a bit more, which is really good. I'm honestly loving this game. I like it so much. Like, I don't want to stop playing. I've actually made another save file, um, which isn't going to be like the same as this. I've that's just for my personal play um but yeah I just didn't want to stop playing so I was like I'm gonna have to make my own personal one which I did but I haven't played it too much but thank you guys so much for watching this part I hope you all enjoyed we will definitely start exploring the mines more and uh doing some more of our journal tasks I reckon we're gonna try and get a chicken coop in the next part maybe but I'll leave it to decide when I come around to record it. If you like this part, please do give it a big thumbs up and do leave all of your comments and suggestions down below as always. So thank you guys so much for all of your comments on the last couple of parts. It really meant a lot and I will speak to you all in the next one. Bye guys.